What's the boss made? It's your label that made it. Meticulous with words, such a force of nature. Boss. I don't want to seem absurd, but that boy's a gangster. Fo focusing on me, way from Tel Aviv. Barbados with the hustle pockets, LRDs. Distinctive destinations, all I want to see. Ocean from residences, three different ones a week. Cause I deserve that. It's time to learn that. Mess around and put that thing up where your permit. Six figures every year, yeah, I earn that. At the front of this line is where my turn at. Sometimes you need a friend. Not the ones that just show up and don't put nothing in. You know the ones that lend their hand and want to see you win. When you come up on that lick, make sure you cut them in. And then, sometimes you need a foe. Oh. Men gon' lie, women gon' lie. You're looking for the truth and the numbers don't hide. Looking for the root of all evil, then you need to go open up the briefcase, see what your eyes. Everybody claim to be great at small times when they never spend a day in the rain in the front line. No lie. Stop playing on my phone line. Pull up in the space group with the roof. I'm sure no. Wonder why they follow suit. I've been groomed from the womb. Came out of my mama with some running tennis shoes. That's the dinner speed and bullet. Nah, nah, nah. Today, from Ford Field in Detroit, it's week 14 of the NFL on EA Sports. Mason Cosby to kick off for Green Bay. Three quarters of the NFL season are complete. What works in our final month? We're underway in week 14. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. We see Matthew Stafford, the one-time Georgia Bulldog, set to pilot the offense of the Detroit Lions. When I was watching film this week, I had to write a note to myself. Three touchdown passes in an NFL game deserves respect, not ho-hum just because they throw it around all the time and he got his respect, Ready. NFC Ready. Offensive Player of the Week. Yeah, that's the ultimate vote of confidence from a week ago. Hey, look, he was great, not his best game ever, but obviously was very good to garner that award. All the talk this week that was about him. Let's take that forward now. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. To throw again on second down. Stafford. That's complete to Swift out of the backfield. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. His defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Stafford. Complete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. On fourth down, the Lions trot out their new punter for 2020, Jack Fox. Back deep is Tavon Austin. Taking about the 16. Nice job getting free on the return for 13 yards. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. So now it's the Packers' turn to go on offense for the first time. They are led out by an eight-time Pro Bowler in his 16th season.
Out of Cal, it's Aaron Rodgers. A lot of people thought the Packers might struggle a bit in 2019, but that was not the case. 13 wins, a trip to the NFC Championship game, and they were led by their quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, who led their team to a Super Bowl title after the 2010 season, and many thought that was the first of what would be many more. So precise with the football. 26 touchdown passes last year and just four interceptions. He knows how to get it downfield and still take care of it as well. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a... First and ten, just shy of the 30. Throwing is Rodgers. That's caught. It's Robert Tanya, the tight end. Seven yards, the pick up there. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, give yourself a, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. What can't Aaron Rodgers do? The legwork there, getting him to first. Offensively, they like their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tuck it in run time, and he picks up a first down. Now the man from UTEP. This is Aaron Jones. Jones breaking from the contact. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. First down. So many times someone's success is the product of a lot of things coming together really well. And for Aaron Jones in 2019, it all came together for him. He stayed healthy, was on the field for all 16 games, got handed the ball 100 more times last year, and as an end result, broke 1,000 yards in a season rushing for the first time in his career. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10, mark it down at the 9. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Got to love the catch. I think you got to love the gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great, and they're fun. They become a little more ho-hum, aren't they? Yeah, they really are, and I know. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Jones hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Packers have taken the early lead. Well, you've got to like that start on both sides of the football. You force the three and out, and then you score on your first drive. Well, I know someone who doesn't like that start. Well, yeah, the other side. Yeah, they don't like that at all, right? <laughs> this is not the way it's supposed to be. But what you just described, that's team football. All right, when you get a three and out, you're supposed to take advantage of it on the offensive side of the ball. You said, thank you very much for getting us the rock. Let's put it in the end zone, and they did exactly that. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little bit jumpy. Yeah, you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and out. have that opportunity. <laughs> Uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on the first time. And nothing but daylight ahead. And all the way down to the 37. It's a big play there for the Lions. 42 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They run with Adrian Peterson, the second active leading rusher in the NFL, fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. In a word, I would say productive, finding the end zone three different times. Is it possible that you're really underselling it? Three touchdowns, just going to call him productive? Right. Yeah. What, what do you want? This guy had a nose for the end zone. He was good. Had a snoopful, didn't he? How about that? Big time game. Amendola, he was the intended target, and it's third down. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. Throwing on third down, Stafford. He'll get this one to Galladay. And brought down, but not before. 
before they're inside the 25. So a pretty early first quarter, nothing to pass your penalty. Seems like the officials are going to let everyone know they're taking charge of this game. They're always going to protect the quarterback. Following the penalty, it's Peterson. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Stafford on third down. He's going to go down. Safe back at the 13-yard line. Dean Lowry coming in to drop him for a loss of eight. And it also brings up fourth. Fourth down. Still trailing, it's seven to three. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give them confidence and let them knock it through. Tyler Urban on the return. The Packers take over first and the Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. After 1-7-3, the score on EA Sports. some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? He's going to float this one deep right and it's caught inside the 25. And he is able to take this way down into Detroit territory. Man, that ain't made no sense. So a little extra on top of the big play there. It's tough for guys rushing the passer, but you have to know when the ball is gone. And if you listen, officials will tell you ball's gone. He didn't pull up. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. This will be caught at about the six. Rogers pass. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. That'll bring out second and goal after the game of five. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Calling a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Jamie Collins makes the tackle. <laughs> to throw is Rodgers. This will be caught in about the six. The completion there winds up a rush and it'll bring up fourth down. No, they down up the blitz on third down, and your worry is a defense that they can hit you with a big play in that situation. Instead, the blitz pays off, able to rally to the football and make the play. A 20-yard attempt. And Crosby puts it through. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. A good drive gets him inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. 
On second and 12, Stafford catches made by Hawkinson, the tight end. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. Well, we looked at each right away we knew that flag was coming out and i always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you i don't want to throw the flag but you caused the play you did it i had to and not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41 ball carrier credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine a gain of a yard no doubt about it a really nice job there by the defense not allowing him to get to the perimeter but that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the field. They also have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. He was covered and that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. The Lions on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and nine. From the gun, here's Stafford. That's complete to DeAndre Swift out of the backfield. And he gets this only to the 44-yard line. Not near enough to keep the drive alive. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs. And they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Now come the Packers for their next drive as we take a look at the playoff race in the NFC coming into the weekend. And for the moment, they're sitting pretty in possession of that number two seed. But as we know, it often happens. This is all still subject to change. Well, you're so right about that. But even though the math isn't there yet, I think it's going to take new math for them not to make the playoffs. They're almost certainly going to be in the tournament and certainly going to be a dangerous team if you have to play against them. On first down, Rodgers. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Trey Flowers just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven, and we say it all the time. be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. To try again after the sack. Rodgers. 
And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Rodgers. They'll get this one into the hands of Lewis. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. They wind up getting 16, but even that's not quite enough. It's fourth down. Gain of 16 yards. But it brings up... times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football <laughs> offense take care of the defense defense take care of the offense that didn't happen on the last possession this is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team yeah we'll see if they can recoup and recover
problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delayed game. Offense. And that'll set them back five. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Offense. That's going to set him back five yards. Still first down. Problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delayed game. Offense. And yeah, that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. time pitch and catch right there and partner I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this they were holding their breath but nowadays they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one-on-one -on -one and the ball's in the air like that throwing on first down is Rodgers and Lewis has it the tight end and he's taken down inside the 30 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Rodgers going to throw. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Mercedes Lewis, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Packers have taken the lead. If you didn't know it, it won't surprise you to find out that this team leads the league in scoring. They've been a quick strike team all season long. There's another example. They did it again. This offensive coordinator, right now you can write his ticket towards being a head coach. He's advanced in the ways of offense. Crosby connects on the extra point, and that makes it a 17-10 score. Mason Crosby to kick off for Green Bay. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Jamal Agnew now to return it. And he's going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23. Return. The Lions take over first and 10. At their own the Detroit game. offense ready to begin their drive. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I might push it a little bit here and try to get something before the half runs out. He'll find Jones again, complete. 
The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Out of the gun, Stafford. Take the ball off course. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Second and ten, Stafford again. Looking downfield for Jones. He was trying to find Marvin Jones that time. And it's third down. Well, he's been targeted quite a bit on this drive. And finally, I think the guys on the defensive side... They said no more. They saw the double coverage on it. Made it very tough for him to get the ball. Two sacks last week. Another one right here. He's been unblockable lately. And I think that goes all the way back to not just his offseason, but the film study he's been doing during the week. Because I think he's found matchups that he likes, and he's capitalized. You know, a few times, he's even defeated double teams. He doesn't care at this point. So it's the Packers set to receive the kick. They've got the lead as well as we are underway in the third quarter. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. At their own 24-yard line. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Packers! Devontae Adams, 76 yards, and the Packers add six to their lead. But as he was shuffling right out of the pocket, you could just tell he was going to take a shot downfield. He had his eyes down there the whole way. He certainly did. He wasn't taking off to go, right? When he was flushed from the pocket, a lot of time. You see him, eyes will drop, ball will get tucked, and he takes off, becomes a running back. But as you noted, stayed alive as a passer, tremendous body control, and a pretty good arm there, too. And this one through the uprights and good. Those are the kind of drives they like on offense, from the coordinator to the quarterback, the line, everybody. One play drive and into the end zone for six. Mason Crosby to kick off for Green Bay. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. For first and 10 at their own 22 yards. So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Christian Kirksey coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean, but in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. Adrian Only two yards on the carry. That's going to set up a third and long, third and 15 to be exact. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, another free safety coming up and making the big time play. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point, 
and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of the first down. That hurts. If it was running into the kicker, wouldn't be a first down. Roughing, it is a first. And just think about the differences between the two. Running into the kicker almost feels inadvertent. Just a small tap, so to speak. But when you rough him, your bodies are hitting the ground and flying all different places. And the difference is 5 yards or 15. And in this case, that's a big play. That's another gain of 15 on back-to-back -back plays. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Oh, man, he lost the football. Stafford puts it on the ground. But I believe the Lion was there to recover it. Yes, they will indeed keep possession. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one. And that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. This guy's man in stride, complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down. Conversion. And the head coach reaches for the red flag, tosses it down on the field. He wants a challenge here. Challenged the play, it did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player, you threw it yourself, but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination of whether to actually challenge the player or not. In this case, it didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably feel really confident. And then all of a sudden, boom, you lose the challenge. Yeah, when you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back the other way, you have to regroup. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really... They've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping. Oh, he lost the football. Stafford puts it on the ground. Second time in this game, Charles, the ball is squirted out from his hands. Luckily, his teammate was there to pounce on him. You're right. Got the lucky bounce, able to retain possession. You know, we often talk about the combine and why do we measure quarterbacks' hands. Is that really a big deal? It's for situations like this. Do you have the hands big enough and strong enough to hold on to the football while being jostled? That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line absolutely ideal from that position you're hoping to get it down inside the 15 inside the five superb that'll throw over the middle and he's got it to start the drive and they'll bring him down right around the 13 a good pick up there eight yards on the first down completion at the 13 yard line That's the end of the third quarter of play with the score Packers 24, Lions 10. More muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. 
Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, and just, they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta? Our apologies. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Charles, you'd said the magic number was probably right around 20 for this defense because they're facing one of the top five offenses in the league in terms of points scored. They've had their moments, but this offense, just a little too good, isn't it? They really are because no matter what you do to make an adjustment on defense, they've got an answer for it. Now he'll pull it down. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The escapability in evidence there is that one. Good for 15 and a first. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. He's going to fire one corner of the end zone. The Pro Bowl wideout, Devontae Adams, his intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback, I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. 12 yards there and a first down. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier in this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you have something about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 12 yards on back-to-back -back plays there, and that's another first down. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Throwing now is Rodgers. That's complete right around the eight. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 12 yards on back-to-back -back plays there, and that's another first down. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Aaron Jones with touchdown number two in the game, and now 11 on the year. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, Solomon's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. The bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at the 41-yard line. He'll set up to throw from the goal. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Put up by Jay Alexander. And into the end zone. It's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced.
Extra point try now for Crosby. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Ooh, a little cruel here. They're going to go for the onside kick up big. And the Lions are able to cover the ball. He lost the football. The onside kick recovered by Green Bay. The fourth quarter. Felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams... See that number is empirical. Well, they show run with three tight ends here on first down. Here's Rodgers. Got a man. It's Tanyan complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. That one good for 37 yards. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long. I would say that going along with that. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Touchdown, Green Bay. They seemingly just continue to score at will. And <laughs> as great as it's been for the offense, you got to feel for that defense down there. I love how you use the word will because both teams came into the game with the will to win. But one team has obviously imposed its will on the other and broken them. Because what we're seeing right now, wow, that's a defense that's in tatters after what they faced in this ball game. And applause of the action because the booth, they see something that they want to take another peek at. Stay loose. Stay loose. Mason Crosby for the extra point. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the... Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And Let's incomplete. Go. The conversion is no good. I know they're not asking me, but I'll give you my opinion anyway. I think it's time to erase that play from the call sheet. I guess they figure with the big lead, they can experiment a little bit. But all in all, just go ahead and put that play on ice. This will make it into the end zone. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. The Lions offense heading out as we give you a look at the playoff race coming into the weekend in the NFC. And I tell you, four weeks still to go, and everything is wide open, and it's fun. And I know we always talk about, what well, the playoffs were to begin today, and then we kind of go, okay, but they're not. Let's see how it plays out. Wouldn't it be fun to play with this playoff?
right up right now because to me just about anyone can win this whole thing out of this grouping we currently have and by the time we get there it may look entirely different they'll break the huddle come up on second and eight at the 27 yard line just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair so the lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back and let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Here's a ball thrown right side and complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. A shotgun snap for Stanford. It's caught out by Amendola. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Seven. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Forty-five yard line. Throwing again at Stafford. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not really good effect. trick don't let it affect you going forward most of the good quarterbacks they just tell the ball boy get that one out of the rotation give me a fresh ball and let's go he's got his offense moving again back to the air Stafford on second down that's complete to Swift out of the backfield they get six that'll leave them with third and four they face a third and four after that last completion gets them six To 13 seconds. Incomplete. He was Matt Patricia. He says now's the time. His guys are going to go for it on fourth. They snap it to Stafford. Down there, it's Amendola. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Oh, he lost the football. Stafford puts it on the ground. Offense ready to get their next drive underway. And this one has gone pretty well to form. They've come in, had little problem thus far, and now they'll try to polish things off in the fourth. Looking deep for Adams. This is caught. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. Today's final score. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Green Bay, it's a 10th win on the year as they move to 10-3. And, and they'll return home next week to take on the Carolina Panthers. Meanwhile, for Detroit, it's going to all but eliminate them from the playoff picture as they fall to 5-8. And, and they'll try to rebound next week on the road in Nashville. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Thank you.